Hi, everybody, and thanks for joining us on a Friday afternoon for most of you. Uh, really appreciate you giving us some of your time. With the uh, Kentucky Derby tomorrow, I thought I would wear my brightest and best for you all today to match what's happening uh, at the track over the next three days. But we're really excited to present to you guys today uh, Churchill Downs and, and their activity with Peer and how they've really uh, adopted Purist technology and uh, really put it to the test to make sure that they were getting what they paid for. Uh, and so today we're going to talk you through really our relationship with Churchill Downs and not only their racetrack, but other properties, uh, how they use pure systems uh, to treat the air and surfaces in their buildings, uh, and really the way that that was done with some excellence. So with that, we'll go to the next slide. I'm Jeremy Peterson. I'm the president of Pure. Uh, happy to be leading this organization uh, and driving it forward as we're seeing some really great uh, growth and uh, new partnerships and relationships with many of you that are on the phone. Uh, with me today is our VP of Sales, Brent Vick, and uh, for the next bit, I'll turn it over to Brent. Hello, everyone, and um, thank you again for joining us. We're really thrilled, as Jeremy said, to share with everyone the data that we received from, from Churchill Downs. So what we'd like to do is tie these things together, talk about air and surface cleaning and the Derby and Churchill Downs. All right, everybody, this is Jeremy. I'm back again. So um, Churchill Downs, for those of you who don't know, uh, obviously they run the Kentucky Derby and today they're running the Kentucky Oaks. It's three days of massive crowds uh, descending upon that location. And uh, the thing many people don't know is that they also run several casinos throughout the country. You see a, a group of some of them at the bottom, uh, fairgrounds, race course and slots, Turfway Park, Newport, racing and gaming, which you're going to see in our video here today. Um, but they are world class at creating guest experiences and at creating memories uh for people and so they take their environments very seriously they take the environment their employees work in as well as the the environment they bring their guests to uh exceedingly seriously if you could take me to the next slide adrian i was down there about a month ago a month and a half and i met with mike and his team mike leads all of churchill downs grounds um and they impressed upon me uh, very heavily how serious a moment this is because it's one of those bucket list events for people to get to Churchill Downs to see this race, attend the Oaks, even to be in the front and take a picture with Barbaro uh, and the Spires is so iconic that um, they are exceedingly intent on providing uh, a world-class experience for people that come and uh, had a great time really getting to meet the team there. Um, it's a great group and they uh, really uh, appreciate what Pure does for them as well. If you could take me to the next slide. What we did in 2021 with Churchill Downs um, was they asked us to really make sure their suites are cleaned up. These suites are uh, six figure experiences for people to have over three days uh, in that environment. They wanted to make sure as they were bringing people back on site uh, that they uh, treated those environments really well and uh, provided as clean of an environment as they could. Um, and so they felt that that was a, a great result for them last year. And they then decided, well, let's take this to the next level and decided to install Pure in the HVAC system at that Newport Casino, in addition to a few others, but we're going to focus on Newport today. And the way we do that is um, they send us the drawings, the prints, the layout of that facility, the way the HVAC is configured. And with our 15 years of experience, we design a system to match the layout of that building, and they were expanding onto it. And so we added to it at that point with the, uh, our MVP series of equipment. And so this is a large format environment uh, that's fit into the HVAC system with our controls and sensors, which you'll see here in a bit. Go ahead, Andrea. The thing about Churchill Downs and their casinos is they really wanted to understand when they were making that investment, what was actually being treated? 
So they understood what Pure does and they understood our lab data, but they wanted to prove to themselves that once they took it out of the lab and brought it on site, how was it actually treating that environment? And so they commissioned a third party to actually do the testing on the air and surfaces inside of a large format casino. And this is really different than lab data because you have a dynamic environment where doors are opening and closing, people are coming in and going out. They turned on the smoking program uh, in that environment, but they also have several hospitality uh, environments like dining areas, obviously gambling areas, but drinking areas as well. And all of those surfaces were constantly being touched, continue to be touched like the ATMs, the gambling machines and the door handles. And I think it's a great quote from Casey there, just striving for excellence with technologies. She certainly impresses upon you uh, how serious they take to continue advancing their game. No pun intended, uh, but let me walk into a little bit about uh, the testing that they did here, Adrian, if you can move me forward one. They uh, independently tested us with the IEP group. Um, IEP group is a lab testing body local to them. And they did this really without, uh, without Pure being involved at all. And they were testing for airborne mold and bacteria, VOCs or volatile organic compounds such as nicotine in the air, they tested for surface bacteria as well as surface nicotine uh, from the smoking program. So they did this in two steps. They did it before people were allowed in the building. Then they ran the test again five weeks later uh, and did all of the same sampling. But between the two uh, times in which they actually ran this testing, the outdoor conditions were getting closer and deeper into the fall. Uh, and you saw a lot of the outdoor pollutants getting much worse. Uh, and uh, made the environment even more difficult to treat. If you want to go to the next slide for me, Adrian. So just to take you a step back for a moment before we really dive in here, in the lab, uh, you have really controlled studies that are very essential, right, to demonstrating microbial reduction, but they have some limits in their uh, accuracy and, and reasons for that can vary, but test chambers are determined by the manufacturer. Manufacturers determine the size and placement of the equipment as they go into the testing site. And the number of virus or bacteria that you put into this lab study is all fixed, right? So at the end, you have to come out with a, a number like we, we kill 99.9% .9 of whatever over 20 minutes. And so it's important that at the end, they know exactly what they put into the test and measured it, and then what was actually killed. And Pure does the, our lab studies to the highest standards as we possibly can, as you see on the right there. That's a 1,200 square foot chamber, and, and those are the types of things we do. The big thing about this test data from Churchill Downs Inc. is it takes it into the real world. And so therefore you have a source of uh, pollutants that doesn't end. So if you take me to the next slide, Adrian, in the real world, you've got constant source of pollutants, which makes it much more difficult to actually be effective when it comes to people and odors and outdoor air and furniture off-gassing. And so they really wanted to understand, does this work the same as the lab as it does in the real world? And you see on the right there, some of the tests that they ran, which are in the detailed report uh, and data from the IEP group, as they tested on surfaces, tested on air, tested on petri dishes, etc. And so once we got a hold of these results and looked through them with Churchill Downs, uh, we really saw the value of this. And we're not aware of any other company that has this level of independent real world data that can show you similar reductions on air and surfaces, which is what we're excited to really talk about today. So just to take a step back, if you're not that familiar with Pure, I'll give you a quick overview of the difference between a, a typical air filter and what Pure's uh, air and surface hydroxyl technology does. Um, air filters are what we call a passive filter, right? Whether it's a filter that goes in your furnace, whether it's a filter that's in a portable air cleaner sitting in your office, uh, the filter's just sitting there, air is going through it, and so you see that arrow there in the middle between all of the pollen and mold spores and household dust. 
they're either getting sucked in there by a fan or pushed in there by a fan and they get trapped in there. And that basically is the end of the story. And we measure that in efficiency. So there's either a CADR rate, cleaner delivery rate from a portable air cleaner, or there's a minimum efficiency reporting value if it's a filter that's in a furnace. If you look at Pure's technology, it's exceedingly different in how it treats the, the environment. So not only are we treating volatile organic compounds or gases, uh, are we treating viruses, which are much, much smaller than what most filters can capture, um, bacteria that may be growing on surfaces, mold that may be growing on surfaces, uh, and never make it back to filters, but then we're also treating odors, right? Things that are can't be caught in a filter either. And so instead of having that arrow going into our devices or into a filter, like on that other picture, you see we are treating both inside and outside our device. We are pushing hydroxyls, which turn into organic oxidants, uh, and then interact with the environment and cascade throughout a room and throughout a space. And that's why Pure is so fundamentally different, being able to treat surfaces and air outside of the device instead of capturing things inside of a filter. So we are propelling our natural cleansers versus capturing. And this is really important as it comes to this data from Churchill Downs, because you're going to see very soon exactly what type of surfaces we were cleaning and what was coming off of them. Churchill Downs and the Kentucky Derby are a bucket list item for many people. So we have a huge fulfillment to deliver to the customer. Their expectations are a first-class experience, and that's what we endeavor to deliver to them as we go. We want to make lifetime memories. We really want our guests to come as guests and leave as family. Our purpose is to produce the world's best horse race on the planet. We really strive to have excellence in everything we do and provide from a hospitality perspective, um, and having the Pure Company as a part of our partners is a really important element to that. Anything that we can possibly do to enhance the customer experience, we want to do. And the partnership with Pure has allowed us to do that. We feel comfortable in the fact that Pure is doing its job in those suites to help clean up. And that's really what it's doing. It's cleaning up the suite, things that they can't see. And it's a big part of our other sides of our business with casinos. Cause when you have a lot of people up close and together, you want to do the best you can to purify the air. My name is Chip Bach. I'm the general manager for Newport Racing and Gaming in Turfway Park. Our employees have to feel good about where they work, right? And it also, having a clean facility sets the expectation to our employees what our guest experience should be. So it's incredibly important for both groups to feel a sense of clean when they walk in. We sent a third-party air testing group out to create a baseline before we had the pure system in and before we had guests in the facility. And then we had them retest the air uh, after we had guests in the facility. And the test came back exactly as pure uh, said they would. Our air quality had improved. And that was even with our outdoor air quality being worse the second time around. It overcame the outside air and, and still improved the air quality inside. When I used to come home from work, my clothes smelled the smoke. And my wife is very sensitive to the smell of smoke and she'd make me get rid of them uh, before I walked into the house. And so when the Pure system was uh, enabled here in, in Newport, and we started the smoking program here for our guests, I decided I was gonna spend a weekend walking around the smoking area and then coming home to see if my wife detected, and she could not. That's a testament to the product working. As a matter of fact, she was so excited about the system that we ended up buying a whole house system uh, for ourselves because uh, she was sold from, uh, from all that. Why does this matter? We talk about air and surface treatment we touch around 140 objects daily. 
And it doesn't stop there. We touch our faces on average 23 times per hour. And I think I'm a bit of an overachiever in that regard. So the viruses and bacteria from what we touch are transferred to our face, to our nose and our mouth. So let's just take a look inside some of the data from Churchill Downs. So you can see some of the numbers here. The data said that the bathroom handle bacteria decreased 93%. And you can see a couple other locations where they tested. So what about smoking? The criteria Churchill Downs was using early on with regard to pure had to do with smoking. The casinos are smoking environments and they wanted to treat the smoke. And you heard this in the um, video from Chip. And you can see it directly from the report from the third party testing agency. Nicotine contamination did not occur even after the introduction of smoking within portions of the facility. So when they did their after sampling, when they were at normal capacity, they didn't detect nicotine. So multiple tests in the casino found 0% nicotine. So very impactful with that particular VOC. Next slide, please. So what about other technologies? Uh, Jeremy talked a little bit about the passive technologies versus active technologies. The truth of the matter is most small contaminants don't even pass through an air filter. And if they are, they're generally not captured. So if you look again at some of the data from the CDI report, there was a decrease in airborne bacteria at one particular location of 79% and another ATM location in small game rooms where they saw a 98% reduction in bacteria in their before and after testing. So Adrian, if you can advance, please. So I wanna just kind of summarize. I think you got the gist of the story here, but what Churchill Downs found through their independent, independent testing process was that they achieved up to 99% reduction of mold, bacteria, and VOCs in the air and on surfaces, and they achieved the elimination of odors like smoke. So as you heard in the video, this is a key part of their brand promise to provide the optimal guest and employee experience and in their view, Pure is a core element to help deliver that. Next slide, please, Adrian. So you heard the story about Churchill Downs and a hospitality environment, but we've got applications in a variety of um, industries and, and market verticals that enable us to treat the air. So you can see examples here. First one there is medical and specifically the operating room environment. We've got a partner called Steris that implements pure in the operating room where you've got the most vulnerable people and the preliminary results we're getting out of that are really encouraging. We're in office space environments. Obviously we talked about hospitality. We're in senior living environments addressing C. diff and MRSA and flu and COVID of course, odor and bacteria. We have a very good position in the education market, particularly up in New Jersey. And then we're also in industrial, protecting industrial process um, with bacteria, VOCs, odor and mold. We're in the food supply chain, addressing uh, ethylene and E. coli listeria, and you can see the list. And we're also in greenhouses. So this is a representative sample of where we are treating the air, delivering similar results to what you heard from the CDI report. And we're also, of course, treating surface environments. So viruses and bacteria live for different lengths of time on the surfaces touched by all of us all the time. And they're in locations, same sort of locations that I just talked about, schools, restaurants, hospitality environments, commercial environments, 
food supply and industrial, and we are very capable of addressing those surface contaminants in that wide variety of applications, including many more than what you see on the list here. In fact, next slide please, Adrian. You can see here just a subset of partners and really key partner relationships that we've built over time. Some of them are very new. It's Stanley Cup playoff season. We're in the Calgary Flames locker room. I mentioned Steris. They include Pure in the operating room environment. We're in the Toyota manufacturing environment. Envoy is a brand new partner of ours in the janitorial sanitation channel. Uh, so we're thrilled to have Envoy as a partner. I talked about schools. We're in the New York, New York School District. We're in Molson Coors. You see a lot of recognizable names here. We've got new partners, CPG and uh, Control Stop, part of our HVAC network. Carnival Cruise Lines, another hospitality environment. We've got a partnership with Rockwell Automation to integrate Internet of Things into our portfolio. That'll start to come out over the course of 2022. And of course, the Churchill Downs relationship that we've been talking about on the call. Um, I, I know carving out roughly an hour of your day is a really big commitment and sacrifice. So thank you again for doing that. Um, please download the Kentucky Derby brochure that tells a lot of the same story that you heard about today. It's available at pure.com slash Churchill Downs. And we'd invite you to schedule a discussion, follow up discussion with the Pure sales team. We'd love to have a conversation with you about any indoor air quality challenges you may have or your customers may have. We'd be happy to talk about our technology in more detail, our product offering, and how we sense, control, and treat large complex environments. So thank you again for joining today. And with that, we will end the call. Have a great day and enjoy the races. Bye now.